60 seconds away, breaking news, the search for a missing team swimmer, plus a hot crowd burglar who's broken into multiple homes. Eyewitness News starts in 60 seconds. When is a sofa more than a sofa? When my designers get their hands on it. We're talking a drop-down table and accent shelving in my play day. Pop-up sleepers and hidden storage in my playscape. Thoughtful finishes like nail head detailing on my playlist. And my playground with Bogopedic memory foam seats in customizable configurations. I'm not as flexible as my sectionals. When you can get four stylish sectionals designed for everyday living at my everyday low prices, there's only one thing to say. Oh, my God. Discount Furniture. This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. Breaking right now on Eyewitness News at 11, this is a live picture from Air 7, a search for a teen who disappeared in the ocean off Long Beach. I'm Michelle Fisher. Two teens went swimming just south of the Huntington Beach Pier tonight, but one did not make it back to shore. We don't yet know the swimmer's age or gender, and Eyewitness says the tide got higher and waves bigger as they were swimming, and one of the teens was swept away. Lifeguards and the fire department and the Orange County Sheriff's Department are on foot, on boats, and in a helicopter now trying to find the swimmer. This evening. We will, of course, continue to follow this story and bring you any updates as we learn them. Mm. Now to our next story. A woman assaulted in her own bed after a series of home break-ins. Tonight, people in East Hollywood and Silver Lake are on edge. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Caputo live in Silver Lake with what neighbors are saying tonight. Tim? And Michelle, certainly unnerving for the folks who live in this neighborhood here in Silver Lake as word is spreading about these overnight break-ins primarily happening when people are asleep. We actually spoke with one man who woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning to find a stranger standing in his bedroom.